Hello everybody, I'm Kim Rooster Rossiter and on Run Streak Day 100, this is Spotlight Saturday, episode 12. Hope everybody's enjoying the spring-like weather across the nation. Hope you're being safe as that uh, significant front moved across the nation. We're going to get right to the point with this episode. We're going to cover three specific topics. First, we're going to entertain a question that came to us about cross-training. We're going to entertain the question about our website and how to navigate it. And we're going to introduce you to a very inspirational young lady from Central Carolina who's going to talk to you about Project 50. So without further ado, let's kick this thing off with a key question that comes to us about cross-training, but I'm not going to answer it. Instead, I'm going to flip it over to our Vice President of, of Operations, Mr. Joe Orth. Briley, what question do we have for Joe? This first question comes from our YouTube channel, where Mary asks to share some resources or tips for cross-training. Hey, Mary. Great question. So as you can see, I'm in my garage, which is also my gym and the Ainsley's Angels of Hampton Roads version of a trailer. So cross training, uh, CrossFit is important to running. A couple days a week do both. This way you're not just hitting the pavement for 100 plus miles a week or whatever the case may be. So a lot of things that I like to do, um, I follow this CrossFit bodyweight workout. There's over 100 of them and they're all bodyweight things. So you can do these you know, in your living room while traveling. We can post the link to this uh, in the video. The other thing, Pull-ups are big, all right? Arm strength, upper body strength, since you're gonna be pushing um, those riders. Uh, if you follow me over here, kettlebells and medicine balls are great. You can get those at Walmart, uh, local sporting goods store, and then you can just Google, you know, kettlebell medicine ball workout. Those will work everything from your head to your toes, core, legs, etc. cetera. Uh, when you're thinking of cross training and not just running, um, I have an Airdyne bike. Those are great. Some gyms have them, if not just a regular bike. Um, swimming is great, low impact, it's good on the joints. The elliptical, a lot of people think the elliptical is perhaps silly, but things like that, the Stairmaster, the cross trainer, put those into a higher resistance uh, and you'll, you'll get just as good of a workout and actually in a shorter period of time without pounding away in your joints. Um, you want to strengthen your legs, so for that I have obviously the ability to do squats in here, but a box jump goes a long way. Um, I have one in the corner here. You can buy those from various resources online, or if you're handy, you can you can actually make them. So the key to cross training and um, crossfitting is really just thinking outside the box. Find things that that you can do short, intense workouts that buy some time in between um, your long run days and your speed workouts. I hope that answered the question. If not, uh, please feel free to to reach out again, and we can talk for hours on this information. Uh, all right, back to you, Rooster. Thanks, Mr. Joe. Our next question is from Beth, who would like some help navigating the website as well as an explanation to the new 50 Gifts of Freedom project. Thanks for the positive feedback about the website, Beth. Uh, we figured the best way to probably give you some insight into how to navigate it is to take, it, take a little ride on the website and show you a few things, and then that'll lead right into the question you have about Project 50. So whenever you get to angelsangels.org, this is essentially, uh, well, this is what you'll see. And a couple of things we want to point out, of course, this might look a little bit different on your phone, but some of the key features are the same. Being Ainsley's Angel allows you to sign up to become a rider or a runner or a guardian angel. Our locations takes you to the different spots that uh, we are around the United States. Of course, there are race series. You can sign up to do any one of our six events that we host, as well as sign up for the virtual options. And of course, the finish line store. Now, as you scroll down through the site on the original main page here, you'll see a scrolling news feed, some other interesting news uh, as it applies to the finish line store and upcoming projects. And of course, this will take you directly to one of our favorite YouTube videos from our Marine Corps Marathon experience. These four buttons here can be very helpful. And the one I'd like to point out today is the Frequently Asked Questions button. So whenever you click on this, it's gonna take you to another page. And what we've done is we've set up categories where you can have, see all of the questions that we've answered, uh, both in our Spotlight Saturday series, our, as well as questions that have been submitted frequently. And once you pick the category you wanna go into, or you can stay on all, you can scroll down through some of the options. A couple of examples um, that maybe we can look at one real fast, I'll just scroll down. For example here, how do I become an angel runner? We get that question all the time. Of course, the answer to this question is provided here, 
as well as the direct link that takes you to the location to sign up. Now, what's really neat about this particular feature is if you ever have a question that you want to have added to this, all you got to do is answer, ask the question on this Spotlight Saturday series and we'll get it there. Now, I'm scrolling back up to the top because I'd like to talk about the locations button. A lot of times we get questions about, you know, where exactly are you and how do I get involved? This button's really great. Not only does it give you an interactive map that you can click on for various locations, but as you scroll down a little bit, it gives you detailed descriptions of what a rider, what a runner, and what guardian angel are. You can click on this link to sign up directly, or in your case, perhaps Massachusetts. Let's go there. So if you click on the Massachusetts link, or state, it's going to take you to our Massachusetts page. And what you'll find out when you get here, Beth, is that we, we don't have any locations. Otherwise, they'd be listed right underneath the word Massachusetts. You'd see a pull-down menu for that. Instead, it says, hey, if you don't see your location here and you want to get involved, all you need to do is contact us by clicking on this particular button. Of course, with Massachusetts, our friends from Team Hoyt New England have that covered pretty good. So we don't currently have any plans to bring any Ainsley's Angels ambassadorships there. But in the event of another uh, state, perhaps uh, somebody's living over, let's just take Louisiana for example, you can scroll in, in down on our uh, tab here and you'll see the various states uh, and the locations. So if I was to click on our very first ambassadorship in Southwest Louisiana, it takes you to their ambassadorship page which the ambassador keeps updated. The information that they provide here is particularly focused on their social media sites and their CrowdRise links, but also a direct tab to their Facebook page and their upcoming event schedule that you can sign up to join any one of those particular events that are upcoming. So I hope that gives a little bit more insight into how to navigate the site. I know that was a little bit longer than I wanted to, but let me take us uh, up to the home page. You'll see this pull down menu. 50 Gifts of Freedom. That was your other question. You said, what is that? Well, I figure there's no better way to have it explained than to flip it over to Jessica. Uh, she's going to talk to us a little bit about what she's doing. And of course, you can always come back to the website and click on the 50 Gifts of Freedom project. Hey, Jessica, tell us a little bit about what you have going on. Hey, I'm Jessica from Central Carolina Chapter of the Ainsley's Angels. And I wanted to tell you about the 50 Gifts of Freedom project. Over the next few years, I will be running a full marathon with an athlete rider in every state to spread Ainsley's Angels' message of inclusion throughout this great country. I'm not an elite athlete or a superstar runner. I'm a mom and a wife and a full-time nurse with a passion for sharing my love of running with everybody, regardless of their athletic ability. Through 50 Gifts of Freedom Project, and with your help, I'll be gifting 50 race chairs, one in every state, after the marathon to encourage and enable athlete riders across the nation to roll with the wind and to spread a message of inclusion to every corner of the United States. I'll be sharing a blog post after every adventure and would appreciate you following along this journey on Ainsley's Angels website. See you on the road. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Jessica, thanks so much for all you're doing in Project 50. And Joe, thanks for joining us this week. We look forward to joining everybody next week. As a reminder, please list your questions down below so that we can get more answers out there to all of you. And of course, stay tuned to Snapchat for that daily story. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, take a moment, reach up there, hit subscribe, and we'll be all set. All right, have a great uh, rest of your weekend, and we're going to see you very soon. A young angel born with wings